First of all, I'll give you a very quick intro about myself, who I am. I'm Stefanos Banke. I'm a cloud architectural advisor uh, of the Bluemix team based in Dublin. I work with uh, Rebecca with the, for the Nordics uh, and Alex. And then my background is basically as developers, uh, primarily in Java and C Sharp. Anyway, a uh, quick agenda about today's webinar. We'll give you a quick intro on the Bluemix Consult and how to set up uh, organization, users, roles, and uh, spaces. And at the end, you will have time for doing a Q&A session. So organization for the uh, you can you can you have to figure out that Bluemix is based on two uh, hierarchy uh, aggregation team uh, models. The first is the organization, and the second one is the space. So you can create a few as much organization as you want inside of your account, and you have to figure out the organization like uh, um, a team work. Uh, project where you can invite people to work with you on the same project for instance can be the project of uh, um, development something and you will have the, the, the DevOps pipeline inside of this organization uh, for instance if you in your company uh, you plan to develop an app for cars or mobile so you have, have the organization of uh, uh, a specific uh, project for instance um, uh, cars and uh, engine another project created with um, uh, healthcare or something like that and inside of each organization you can create the spaces you can figure out the spaces like uh, the um, the environment of your app. So you will have probably development, testing, and production. And in each of them, you can have more than one app, obviously, and probably uh, you will have different uh, database storage. So you will have in parallel the app connected to the uh, database uh, development, the development space. In testing, you will have your app connected to the um, database instance for test and then in production we'll have the production app with the specific url connected to the um, production database so in inviting the roles you can uh, invite um, uh, people using uh, their email so uh, once uh, and you can give the grant at the organization as manager, so they can create other spaces, invite other users, giving uh, the grant. Uh, can be a billing manager that can view organization and uh, the billing environment, or just auditors that is, are, are will be um, able only to view the uh, the content. And for the spaces, uh, you can. Uh, give the grant of space manager that will be able to add other people. Um, developers can configure the application, create application, uh, and uh, can, they can create uh, the services as well. Or they can be just auditor and will be a they will have access in a read-only mode. So let's jump directly on the user interface. So this is the new uh, the dashboard or the new web user interface. Here on top on right, you have the account. You have the section related with the account. This is my user profile. And then you can set up from here, from this menu, uh, the uh, your organization so first of all you can go to manage organization and from here you can create as much organization as you want yeah. 
for instance, I got two organization. One is as the same name of my account, and another organization that I have uh, that I give it the name uh, org ste. If you enter in the details of the organization, you can see the spaces inside of the organization. You can add spaces from here as much as you want, specifying uh, in which uh, um, uh, region you want to do that. Now I'm connecting UK, so I will, give, uh, I will enter a new space, new space. And that's it. Here I have a new space. And for if I back to the dashboard from here, you can see that now I'm connected to the dev to the dev space where I have two app and one service, I can switch to the new space that I've called it new space, where actually I don't have any uh, app or uh, services. So if I want to uh, add people uh, to my organization or spaces, I can go here, in invite team members I can invite people to uh, the organization so from this wizard, I can select the organization where to invite uh, the members. Then the, the spaces, I can invite probably to more than once to all, all my uh, dev production and test and new space uh, inside my organization. And then selecting in uh, which region, giving the uh, the specific uh, grant, as I said, uh, I can invite uh, organization managers are who can create spaces and add users in the organization. Billing manager can view organization charges. Auditors can view organization organization and space content. For this, the space roles, you can have a space manager that we can uh, add users to the space. The developers can add and configure applications and services, and auditors can only view the content of the space. So, giving to the uh, to the uh, account the auditor, they will have just uh, read-only access. Here, you can enter the address of the um, uh, of the people that you want to invite, the email address, or you can. Uh, here to invite, uh, um, and I can say with uh, you can do a bulk bulk invitation, inviting more than once. So you can, for instance, uh, uh, type more than uh, uh, email, gmail.com or whichever. You can put a list of emails separated with the dash, comma, or whichever you want, and just play next, they will uh, uh, receiving, uh, I, have, I can mark that they have financial responsibility for the charges. Uh, and when I say next, they will invite, I can uh, check the email here, and uh, each of the um, people that I will invite, they will receive an email with the invitation, and uh, with uh, there will be the link there for connecting to the uh, to the console, and they just need to create uh, their own account if they don't have already, 
and they will be invited in the organization. If they are ever, probably they will have more than organization like this one. I can show you. Because for instance, here I'm invited to other organization. That's our other organization where I'm working on. And this one is my primary uh, organization. On the usage dashboard, you can see the usage of the uh, only the uh, who has the grant for watching is is able to see the usage uh, of the entire organization. And you can set up uh, a quota manually uh, for each organization and uh, uh, an alert system. Plus, in the billing section, you will have uh, uh, the way for manage the billing stuff. Uh, my account is a kind of a special trial, so uh, I can show it actually. So, if you have any questions,